So now we're trimmed up. What I do, this knife in particular, the blade, is about the same exact width as a gallon Ziploc bag. So I'm gonna cut it into chunks like that. I'm gonna get a box of Ziplocs. Now I always leave the skin on because most public tables are normally not um, as sanitary as you would like. What I'm gonna do is take a chunk and I'm gonna put the skin side down. The next chunk, I'm gonna go meat to meat. Like so. And that way if, there's it, if there is any bacteria or anything like that on the skin, it's not gonna get on the actual flesh that you're gonna be eating. So do that. And right there, there's a whole lot of love and yumminess ready to go. Make sure you keep it cold. Tuna's a very temperature sensitive meat. Very, very important when you catch it, bleed it, and get it as cold as you can, as fast as you can. Um, same thing on your ice chest. When you put it into your ice chest, you wanna lay your ice. Well, if you can, ice your ice chest ahead of time, cool it off, and then you wanna lay your ice then put your zip blocks on top, you know, full of fish, another layer of ice, layer of fish, layer of ice, so on, so on. Um, if y'all want a real hot and heavy bite, or if it's, if it's gonna sit in ice just for a day or two, go ahead and crack the drain plug. Cause I mean, there's no guarantees that this can't open up and you don't want this fish sitting in fresh water at all. You'll basically reduce it down to canned tuna fish. So if you go ahead and you crack it, it'll let all the melted ice and all that water drain out. That'll be the best way and best thing you can do to properly take care of such beautiful, tasty fish.